Hi Grade 7 Learners! How are you? Have you finished answering your modules? Are you bored staying at home? Be patient! There are a lot of good things to do. Let us hope and pray that this pandemic will end soon. We can go anywhere we want soon. Just like in this picture, where do you think is the picture located? That's right, it's the Rolling Hills in San Miguel Ramon Isabella. Have you been there? Yeah. Another is the beach from Dinajawan Aurora Isabella. It's so relaxing to stay there, isn't it? Especially this summer. I want to go there. Do you want to go with me? Oh, not now, of course. For the meantime, please enjoy learning with me today on the topic, Sea Breeze and Land Breeze. What comes first into your mind when you hear the word breeze? It's a wind? Simoy ng hangin in Tagalog? Palayo po itibaybay in Ilocano. And you may also say, it's a soap used in washing your clothes. Well, for you to better understand sea breeze and land breeze, let's answer the following questions. What happens when air is heated? What happens to the air in the surroundings as warm air rises? Which warms up faster, land or water? And which cools down faster, land or water? Are you now ready to learn with me? Yes! What happens when air is heated? The materials needed. Two paper bags. Candle. Long straight stick much masking tape and chair wow! the procedure attach the paper bag at the end of a stick the open end of the bag should be facing down then balance the stick with the paper bags on the chair and finally, light the candle and place it below one of the bugs. Caution! Do not place the candle too close to the paper bug. It may catch fire. Be ready with a pail of water or wet rag just in case. What happened when a lighted candle was placed under one of the bugs? Very good! The bug moved up. Can you explain why? At the start, the two bugs contain about the same amount of air. What happens when the candle is placed below one bug? The air inside heats up. The air expands and spills out of the bag. There will be less air in that bag than before, so the bag rises. This is the first concept that you need to know. Warm air rises. Now, try to answer the following questions. When warm air is rising, what is its effect on the air in the surroundings? Will the air in the surroundings stay in place? Or will it be affected in some way by the rising air? Do the following activity and find out. The materials needed Box Candle Scissors Match Cardboard tube Smoke source Example, mosquito coil And clear plastic The procedures Make two holes in the box one hole on one side and another hole on top. Place the cardboard tube over the hole on top and tape it 
in place. Make a window at the front side of the box so you can see inside. Cover the window with clear plastic to make the box airtight. Now, open the box and place the candle directly below the hole on top. Light up the candle and close the box. Now, make a prediction. What do you think will happen if you place a smoke source near the hole? Now, place the smoke source near the hole. Was your prediction accurate? What happened to the smoke when the source was placed near the hole? Let's hear the answer of some of your classmates. Mommy yung katul, mommy yung usok niya, ma'am. Papunta dun, ma'am. Minihigop niya yung usok ng katul, papunta dun, ma'am. Is your observation the same with your classmate? The smoke went through the hole into the box toward the lighted candle. Can you explain why? The candle flame warms up the air above it. The warm air rises out of the box. The air in the surroundings goes into the box and moves toward the place where warm air is rising. Therefore, what happens to the air in the surroundings as warm air rises? That's right! The air in the surroundings will move toward the place where warm air is rising. Let us now relate what happened in the activity to what happens in nature. During the day, the surface of the earth becomes warm because of the sun. Some parts of the earth will warm up more quickly than others. Naturally, the air above the warmer surfaces will also become warm. What happens to the warm air? Just like in the activity, it will rise. How is the air in the surroundings affected? It will move toward the place where warm air is rising. This is the other concept that you need to know. Air moves toward the place where warm air is rising. Whenever we feel the air moving, that means that somewhere Warm air is rising. The air around us moves toward the place where warm air is rising. Do you remember that moving air is called wind? Every time you feel the wind, it means that air is moving toward the place where warm air is rising. Strictly speaking, wind is air that is moving horizontally. You know that the surface of the earth is made basically of two things, land and water. When the sun's rays strike land and water, do they heat up as fast as each other? Do land and water absorb heat from the sun in the same way? Or is there a difference? Analyze the result of the activity done by your classmate and find out. Here is the setup that your classmate did. The setup was placed under the sun. They read the thermometers every 5 minutes and recorded temperature readings in this table. The first column is the observation time in minutes. The second column is the temperature in degrees Celsius of water. And in the third column, is the temperature in degrees Celsius of sand. The initial temperature of both sand and water is 30 degrees Celsius. Now, based from the table, which has a higher temperature after 15 minutes? Sand or water? That's right, sand. How many degrees Celsius was the increase in the temperature of water? You are correct. It is 3 degrees Celsius. And how about the increase in the temperature of sand? 
Very good! 10 degrees Celsius. Therefore, which warms up faster, sand or water? Very good! Sand. After 15 minutes, the setup brought back to the shade. And your classmates read the thermometers every 5 minutes and recorded the temperature readings in this table. If you notice, the temperature of water and sand decreases when brought to the shade. How many degrees Celsius was the decrease in temperature of water after 15 minutes? Hmm. Correct! 3 degrees Celsius. And how about the decrease in temperature of sun after 15 minutes? Hmm. That's right! 10 degrees Celsius. Therefore, which cools down faster, sand or water? Hmm. You are correct, sand. Yay! Let us recall the four concepts we learned from this video. Concept number one, when air is heated, it rises. Concept number two, air moves toward the place where warm air is rising. Concept number three, land warms up faster than sea. And concept number four, land cools down faster than sea. During the day, both land and sea are heated by the sun, but the land heats up faster than the sea. So the air above land becomes warm and rises. The air in the nearby sea then moves in toward the place where warm air is rising. The moving air or wind from the sea is called a sea breeze. Conversely, during night time, the land and sea both cool down. As in the activity, the land cools down faster than the sea. Later on, the land is already cool but the sea is still warm. The air above the sea will then be warmer than the air above land. The air above the sea will rise and the air over land will move toward the place where warm air is rising. The moving air or wind from the land is called a land breeze. Get a ball pen and a piece of paper and let me try your understanding. 